May the Lord bless and keep you. Some people may be wondering what attributes they need to be a true servant of God. So let's go to Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 23. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So this is saying these are the attributes of the Holy Spirit. When we begin to serve God, we need to improve in these attributes. So if you don't have these attributes yet, you are a work in progress. So you are not there yet. But in time, if you place effort into it, you are going to obtain these attributes. And believe me, God is going to test you <laughs> so much so that you can improve in these attributes. So what does these words mean? Let's look it up. So love, what is love? An intense feeling of deep affection, compassion, care, caring. So we need love. We have to love everyone, even our enemies. Okay. Joy. A feeling of great pleasure and happiness. We need joy. So if you are the type of person that never receives joy and you say that you serve God, something is not right. If you are the type that stays depressed all the time and don't have joy, something is wrong. Peace, freedom from disturbance, quiet, and tranquility. So calm, quiet, be at peace. Okay. Long suffering, having or showing patience in spite of troubles. <laughs> How many of us need this? So many of us need this. Having or showing patience in spite of troubles, especially those caused by other people. So we all need to be long suffering, as you can see. Okay. Gentleness, the quality of being kind, tender, or mild mattered mannered okay goodness the quality of being good in particular so we need to be good so these people that say that you can send all you want and all you have to do is believe in Jesus Christ well how can you have the Holy Spirit if you don't have goodness within you. Think about that. Faith. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Meekness. The fact or condition of being meek. Submissive. Submissiveness. I believe I made a video about being meek or docile, I believe. 
we need to learn how to submit to others. As in, if they want us to do something sinful, I am not saying to do that bad thing. What I am saying, we need to be humble. When someone is trying to fight or argue with us, we need to learn how to back down. How to make that person believe within themselves that they are more powerful or much more intelligent or whatever. If someone wants to be prideful or seek to show their dominance over you, allow them. Because in the end, it is going to hurt them much more than help. Their pride, they are going to be strangled with their pride, figuratively speaking. So we need to learn how to bow down. We need to learn how to close our mouth. We need to learn how to not argue. We need to learn how to be wise. Temperance, moderation, let's look at this one right here. Moderation or self-restraint, especially in eating and drinking. So we need restraint. So let's go back to Galatians 5, 22 through 23. As you can see here, we need these attributes. So we need love. We need joy, we need peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. We need these attributes. I believe I have them all. I mean, I believe I have all the definitions here showing on this screen so i pray that this makes sense god bless you if this video have helped you in any way make sure you share it and subscribe god bless you